Hi, I'm Eric Nesbitt with Mobile Air and Power Rentals. I'm our regional sales director in the Midwest. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about temporary chiller applications. To determine the size chiller you need, we can use your existing equipment or the application that you're using it for. If we're looking at the application, we'll want to know what the incoming temperature is and what the outgoing temperature is and the gallons required for your cooling needs. What we're going to do with this information is we're going to take the outcoming temperature and subtract it from the incoming temperature, which will give us our delta T. We'll multiply that by the gallons required in GPM and divide that by 12, and that'll tell us how many tons we need. As a general rule of thumb, you'll need two amps per ton for electrical service. For example, for a 200 ton chiller, you'll need 400 amps available. You'll wanna place your rental chiller on flat level ground in the nearest location where you can get access to your tie-in point to your chilled water and your electrical connections. You will need a tie-in point to tie in the chilled water supply and return lines. You can work with your mobile air rep to determine the correct place and we can also work with a mechanical contractor to have those tie-ins installed. As far as service taps go, we can really tie into anything. We can use flange adapters, we can use Victaulic fittings, we have different size of reducers to go from four inch to six inch or eight inch to 10 inch. We can really do anything needed for your chilled water application. In addition to the tie-ins we just discussed, we also have additional fittings required for a nice, clean installation. We have 90s, 45s, and other fittings for your chilled water needs. All of our temporary air-cooled chillers have a pump on board that's designed for that particular tonnage of equipment. They are also all designed to have 100 feet ahead. First, we'll go to the main power supply on the chiller and we'll turn it on. Next, we're gonna go to the pump panel and we're gonna turn the power on. We're gonna check our phasing and then we're gonna turn the pump on to hand. Next, you'll go to the chiller control panel. You'll press the options button twice. Then you'll go to the arrow button to turn the systems on and then press enter. After you've done that, you'll be ready to turn the main switch on on the chiller control panel. After turning on the pump at the control panel, you'll want to go to the evaporator and check the gauges on the inlet and the outlet to prove flow through the machine. If you have any further questions, please contact your mobile air and power rentals representative.